Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, it's the Leafs versus the Habs, so it's uh, it's everything you want in a playoff series, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's exciting for us. You know, we uh, feel good against them. We played them uh, a fair amount of times, especially here recently. Um, so we we got a good feeling there. But you know, we, we just want to take these next two games um, in stride. You know, really focus on the things that we uh, we think are going to be important um, once playoffs comes. And make sure we we have those areas dialed in. Um, and yeah, really really make use of these last two games. Um, and, you know, really expect good showings and uh, expect a lot of, of ourselves with, um, like you said, the big upcoming series. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Travis, uh, from, from your perspective, what do you think makes the Leafs-Habs rivalry special? I mean, you could look at all the history um, and probably leave it at that. But um, I think we've had some good battles this year, which um, I think are just going to add to the fire. Um, so... I think uh, even if you didn't watch a game this season, um, the Leafs-Habs rivalry was um, is imminent and uh, is always kind of there in the back of your mind. So it's gonna be it's gonna be huge just playing those jerseys against each other, um, and then all the battles we had this season are just gonna add on top of that. So I'm excited for a nice series. Next up, we'll go to Luke Fox, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Luke. Hi, Travis. What sticks out about Ben Hutton? What have been your early impressions of him? Love Hutz. Uh, great guy to have around. Um, even before you step on the ice, he's a good guy to have around. He uh, seems like he's good buddies with pretty much everyone on the team already, um, which is a good sign for a guy coming in uh, coming in this late um, and having little time to kind of get in touch with all the boys. But um, all the boys are loving him so far. We're, uh, we've become good friends off the ice, and uh, it's kind of nice to see that translate into being D partners here. Um, so it's been nice playing with him. He's such a solid player. Um, moves the puck extremely well out of the D zone. So it's really nice playing with him, um, getting the puck out of our zone quickly. It's uh, it's a big thing that we focus on. So um, it's nice being out there with Hudson. Don't spend too much time in the D zone. Um, and I'm definitely learning some stuff from him. I mean, just uh, obviously it's going to be a hard fought one, but we have two games left. So uh, I don't really want to look ahead too much. We got to make sure we, we play these two games hard and then we'll focus up. What's it mean to the group to get Freddie Anderson back tonight? Uh, it's great. Uh, obviously, he's a big part of this team. Uh, he does a lot for us when he's in that net. Um, so uh, everyone's excited to have uh, the big units back in net. And, um, you know, we got to make sure uh, we play we play smart and, and ready in front of him. Next up, we'll go to Lance Hornby, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Lance. Hi, Mitch. I do realize you have the game tonight, but uh, so many fans uh, from, you know, a supporting aspect are uh, very high on a Montreal-Toronto series. And just uh, comment about the, the excitement that's going to create uh, on both sides of the border. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's going to create a lot um, for us, just making sure we're ready to play. But like I said, we have two games. We're, I'm not going to talk about the series until the series comes to the, um, day one. So um, we got to make sure we come ready to play this Ottawa team. They've been on a hot streak, um, playing really good hockey. So it's, uh, it's a good opponent right now for us and making sure we're ready to play. And what do you uh, hope to get, uh, not just this game, but the Winnipeg game as well in terms of a tune-up? Just making sure we're ready. Um, doing all the right things, staying above the puck. Um, you know, both these teams are very good with their structure in the neutral zone and um, very good at breaking out and getting up the ice quickly. So we got to make sure uh, we're doing all the right things to slow them down in that aspect and um, at the same time getting our offense out of it. Next up, we'll go to Kristen Chilton, TSN. Go ahead, Kristen. Hey, Mitch, just to um, follow up on Freddie getting back in, how have you seen him manage um, this stretch? Obviously, it's been frustrating. It's been a long time for him. Just when you've been around him, how have you seen him managing it? Um, yeah, I mean, he's always in a great mood. Um, but obviously, you know, and there's, I'm sure there's times where he was definitely, um, you know, felt by himself or felt lonely and stuff like that. And uh, especially when we went on that those road trips or anything like that, and he had to stay back. But um, I mean, I think Freddie knows uh, a lot of guys in this room uh, love him. Um, we know what kind of goal he is in that net for us and what he brings to this team confidence wise. And, um, you know, he's, he's grinded. He's worked his, uh, his butt off to get back and into the shape that he thinks he's, uh, you know, the, the best possible goalie he can be in. Um, we're excited for that and uh, we're excited for him. And the last one here, we'll go back to Mark Masters. Go ahead, Mark. Mitch, I realize, you know, we're in a pandemic and it's a strange season, but what, what sense do you get from the fan base? So do, you, do you feel that excitement from, from Leafs Nation? What's your sense of that? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's uh, I'm not really watching too much of TSN hockey or anything, honestly. I'm just, you know, trying to stay off all the social media aspects. Um, you know, social media can be a great thing for some things, but it's also a very bad thing uh, sometimes or most times, really. So for me, I'm just trying to stay off all that stuff. I think our team's really done a great job of that this year as well. And, um, you know, I'm sure uh, you can feel the energy in, in Toronto when you're walking around or anything and you see people. But, uh, you know, I think everyone's excited for uh, what we've done this season. But we just got to make sure we keep going and keep working and, you know, try and get to that ultimate goal. Yeah, I mean, we, we, you know, it's nice to know who the opponent's going to be, but, you know, that, that helps us as a coaching staff in terms of our preparations. But we didn't even bring it up or discuss it this morning. Um, you know, we've had a pretty good sense of how it was going to work out here for, for a while now. We obviously just played Montreal four times. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, uh, we, we know what to expect there in that sense. Of course, you know, we, we, we know that their roster will look differently and, and they'll be a much more rested team when we see them again. So um, there's that. But uh, we've got two regular season games to play here this week and we're just remaining focused on that. And then, of course, the most important thing is just making sure that our own, our own game is in order uh, and continue to build towards, you know, being playoff ready. Thanks. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Sheldon, understanding that uh, the focus is on the task at hand, can can you sum up what you think it would be like or is going to be like to be involved in the first Leafs Hab series in 79? I'm just going to focus on the Ottawa Saturdays here tonight, Mark. If I answer those questions, what are you going to ask me for the next uh, eight days or nine days before we start playing? Very fair. Uh, how would you assess the focus level of your group right now? I would say I would say it's very very strong. I think it was uh, uh, you know it was a nice thing. Even you know when we when we clinched the division um, the other night, you know the guys were happy, of course, but there was still you know you could just sense that there was unfinished business, and that's you know that they knew that that's part of the process, but that's certainly not the goal. Uh, so that was good to see. I thought we've had a, you know a couple of great practices here leading up to today. Um, you know, it's been, been very businesslike in terms of our, our approach coming in here. And, you know, there are, as I say, two two games remaining on the schedule. And there's an opportunity for us to continue to, uh, you know, to continue to climb in, in the league standings um, as well. So you know, there's a lot of different things here you know, that would be motivations for us to continue pushing here. And then perhaps the biggest one is just, you know, with the, the schedule, you um, you know, looks like it's going going to be you know late into next week before we we get going. So it's a, that's a large gap. So we, we've got to stay sharp and stay game ready here. So these two games are important for that. Next up, we'll go to Lance Torby, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Lance. Phil, you, you touched upon the the break that may come uh, after these two games and into next week. How do you think that's going to uh, affect your goaltending, both uh, getting Freddie in the game tonight and perhaps uh, Jack playing the last one? Yeah, well, that is the expectation. You know, that we're going to get Jack in on Friday. Um, but yeah, just like all our players, you know, we're looking to get everybody as ready as possible here. You know, whether they're guys who are healthy and available to play tonight or the guys that are still working their way back to being game ready. Um, you know, we, we, we've got to have that focus, of course, of, of you, know, you know, making sure that that it's all systems go at that time. Um, but as I say, we've got to, at the same time, you know, keep things in proper focus and perspective here that it's a 56 game uh, schedule for us here and, and a combination of the fact that we want to continue to build good habits and and then also that you know you look and we do have you know something to play for in terms of positioning in the league standings and then and then just you know the reality is you know with our, our roster and salary cap situation there's there's not a whole lot of uh, flexibility there in terms of moving moving things around so um you know our guys are going to go here today i'll probably um you know probably manage the minutes you know um, a little bit differently than i would um in, in other types of games but at the same time you know it's a good chance for us to, to really work at our, our four-line game and really looking to get things moving uh, with with the entire group 